hello guys welcome back to my channel is another beautiful wig making tutorial for you guys on today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i was able to achieve this beautiful low cut wig if you are new here you're welcome if today is your first time my name is UK Ria, YouTube name Black and Shine. I'm a YouTuber based in Abuja, Nigeria. I make video on hair gele, wig, makeup. If you want to see how this wig is made, keep watching. So guys, to achieve this beautiful wig, first you need your wig cap. Number two, you need to add a net by the side or anywhere you want your part to come in. Then number three, you need your marker. You can use eye pencil, as you can see on the front of the cap, the way I marked it. Where I get the inspiration for this wig is from our everyday low cut, the carving at the front of our low cut when we go to barbie saloon to have our hair cut so i decided to try it out on wig to see how it's going to come out but the outcome is so beautiful so what i'm doing now is to use my scissors to carve out the mark i drew earlier so I'm going to carve it out because is that shape I carved out is what I'm using for this wig making. But guys, I will advise you to add your net at the front so that your cutting will be at the net, not on this cap. Because if you don't know how to handle the cap, you will make a huge mistake. So I advise you to add net at the tip of the cap. So that all your cotton comes in that net. So guys, that I carved this style does not mean that you yourself, you carve the same style. You can just look for any style of your choice and carve before you start making yours. So keep watching for more.
guys, if you are sewing the side, is just normal sewing. Do not bring it out that much when you get to the edges. Just turn it immediately you get to the edges. So now we are at the front of the wig. If you watch very well, you will see that I carved the front C. This is a C cut. So what I'll do now, the sewing pattern has changed. Instead of going the normal way we started, I'm going to sew in a circular form. Make sure to leave a space in the net where your parts will come in. Then continue sewing until there is no space to sew. when i'm done sewing the air this is the outcome so the next thing i'll do now is to work on the part of the wig i'm going to use a crochet pin a smaller crochet pin to follow the line to get a straight line you just have to follow it gradually to get a fine and neat line
guys, I'm done and this is the outcome. So the next thing I'll do now is to use my brush. Remember my first tutorial on multi where I used my um beard brush to brush out the coils and the outcome was so amazed. So exactly the same thing we are going to do on this particular hair, but most of the picking was done by my hands i use my hands to pick out the coils when i brush i'll use my hand to pick those ones at the bottom to make it come out and look more fuller you continue pulling or you brush out whichever one that works for you very well is accepted after the pulling uh brushing of the hair the next thing you do is use your scissors to trim then the front where you carved earlier should be trimmed as well you know follow the carving that you did earlier trim it according to the carving so that it will come out very well So guys and your wig is ready to be rocked so guys to rock this wig i fixed comb by both sides of the wig to help it you know balance very well so if you want to like make this wig for yourself or for a client you want to use this system without adding the net at the front make sure you fix your comb to make it balance very well on the head I love the outcome of this wig and I hope you love it too. If you do, why not be, give me a big thumbs up, share this video with your family and friends, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. See you on my next tutorial. Bye. Thank you.